what is up guys welcome back to the channel we are jumping right into the video why in the world did i trade in my jeep wrangler unlimited for a pickup truck oh if you're like me you may be inside of a similar situation or similar thought process thinking about trading in a jeep getting something bigger a full-size pickup platform there's a couple main reasons why i chose to do that and the number one reason was the sheer size of the vehicle now the jeep wrangler isn't necessarily small but when it comes to doing longer trips and overlanding which is a very trendy thing right now everyone wants to do it but it really is kind of true the full-size pickup platform you do gain a lot more room and it is more comfortable on the road that was one of the main things that we were figuring out as we had our jeep wrangler did multiple cross-country road trips in it for me my wife and my two dogs and all of our gear over time things did become a little bit more cramped and especially now we just took a cross-country road trip which if you haven't seen that video is linked down below from la back to buffalo new york that's where we are right now because it's raining out and it's miserable weather but on that last trip, it was so much more comfortable driving that across country versus inside of the Jeep Wrangler. So that is one of the main reasons, it's just the sheer size of the vehicle. It's nice, you know, when you're on the road, it has more road presence. There's also just more confidence when you're on the actual highway itself. If you guys saw my video when we actually traded in the Jeep to get the Ram Rebel, I was debating going with a Gladiator, which I feel like a Gladiator is a nice compromise. Longer wheelbase, better on-road, you still get more capabilities when it comes down to carrying stuff because you get the truck bed and you still get the off-road capabilities of a Jeep. Maybe it will be decreased by a little bit because of the uh, departure angle, uh, but overall you still get pretty much the same base features that you would get with the Jeep. It's just that it's going to be a tad bit longer uh i thought that was going to be a good compromise and that's what i was originally leaning more towards i feel like that would have been a good compromise overall but when it came down to me i didn't want to go with something that was going to be so similar to the vehicle i already had which i feel like for some for some people that's not a problem they don't mind that for me personally i didn't want to go with the exact same vehicle pretty much I felt like if I was going to sell the Jeep and get something different, I wanted it to feel different. So that was like one of the main reasons why I didn't get a Gladiator. Which I still think that the Gladiator though would be a good platform. When I was originally buying the Jeep Wrangler, I was debating going in between the, the Gladiator or the Jeep Wrangler. I did ultimately choose getting the JLU. I was more easily able to find one uh, with the specs that I wanted and also i thought to myself i wasn't gonna tow anything or anything like that and also for the fact that at the time we were living inside of a apartment building and i thought the extra length of the gladiator would have been too much for like our parking spots so i did get the uh jlu versus the gladiator i think looking back if i just would have had the gladiator to start off with maybe i would have stayed with it i don't know but you know that is another option that a lot of people do eventually go towards when you want the extra space but for myself i didn't want to get the same exact vehicle reason why i got the ram rebel and the other reason why i wanted to move to a full-size pickup platform was for the capabilities so yes this is a lot bigger than the jeep so on the trail getting down tighter trails is going to be harder but you still don't lose like that much i mean okay you do but you don't for me personally, I know I'm not doing any rock crawling. Like I definitely didn't do that inside of the Jeep. Don't get me wrong, we definitely went off-road. We definitely did a lot of stuff off-road. And I still want to do those same things. But I know for myself, I like the more adventuring aspect of it. So I like going down trails, finding places to like go and like look and like hang out. But I want to do more camping and more just like hanging out there versus like actually tackling harder and harder trails. I feel like a lot of people get off-road vehicles and they think that they're gonna be like tackling the most complicated things, but they, in, in reality, people really don't. Um, and I'm saying for myself, like we like to go off-roading. I still like to go off-roading. 
But I know for myself, I'm not going to be tackling the hardest trails like in the world. I still like to go off road, but I don't, I'm not going to be going ham, if that makes sense. I do feel like the, the truck does still check that box. But the other thing that it does check is just the capabilities of being able to tow and be able to carry more things for sure. Like I was just talking like, I think for myself, I think it would be cool to be able to carry a off-road motorcycle with me and still be able to carry all of our gear, rooftop tent. And if I wanted to eventually also carry a off-road trailer, if I really wanted to, then when I'm done, still use the truck as a truck to be able to haul stuff inside of the back. It loses some capabilities off-road, but I still gain other capabilities inside other categories. But I will say, so there is some negative sides to it, I guess I can kind of say. Yes, the Jeep was really cool with the most like unique, I guess, you know, and, and actually in all actuality, it's not like the Jeep Wrangler is like unique, but it is a cool like vehicle. And I honestly, I love Jeep Wranglers. I always have, I literally had three of them. Uh, so I've always loved Jeep Wranglers and I always will. I honestly probably will get another one when the next generation comes out just because I love Jeeps. Um, so you do lose like that factor to it. You also lose like the factor of taking the doors and the roof off and everything like that. So yes, the truck doesn't have that, but what the truck does have is at least for me i have always wanted a pickup truck never owned one even looking back to when i if you guys are og subscribers to the channel when i got the camaro i was even looking at getting a it was like an old dodge ram back then instead of the camaro and then even actually before i even got my first jeep wrangler when i before i was even going to get that one I was looking at, I think either that one was the white one or that one was the red one, but there was another Dodge Ram I was looking at too. So I have always wanted a pickup truck. I always thought they were cool. The Ford Raptor, like ever since that first came out, that was my like dream truck. And I've always like loved trucks. I mean, honestly, even before that, but that like really made me be like, wow, I would love to have a pickup truck. Uh, and like now that, Dodge Ram has made like their own. It's not exactly apples to apples comparison. The uh, Rebel is really would be the TRX to the Raptor, but in my eyes, getting the Rebel, it was a, it was something that I always wanted to do. I always wanted to have a truck. It's been like years now, and like finally, I just kind of pulled the trigger on it. Honestly, I was talking to my wife about this. It was really our last road trip when we took the Jeep Wrangler from LA to Florida and back. That's what kind of made me really really think to myself that, oh, it would be really nice to have the extra space, the more comfortability like on road and like just the ability to be able to carry more stuff with our dogs and so that we can sleep in the vehicle and like be able to carry a rooftop tent and everything like that more easily. Uh, that kind of solidified it for myself. Um, so yeah, I always wanted a truck and if you're in the same boat as I am and you're thinking, should you trade it in? Should you get rid of the Jeep and go towards a pickup truck? Yeah, there's some pros, there's some cons, but at least for me in our particular situation, it made sense. But I have to say, this thing is so comfortable on the road, long road trips. If you guys really wanna know my thoughts on that, check out this video right here. This was our epic road trip going from Los Angeles, California to Buffalo, New York in 48 hours. Check this video out. 